Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how we can insert a block of options inside a product. In particular, I will use as an example the option to order a pizza to enjoy at home, just like we have it in the live demo for our plugin with WooCommerce, product add-ons and extra options. For this product, we will add different options, like choosing toppings, adding a beverage and selecting the delivery date to allow the user to order a pizza to their taste. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Here we are inside the demo I used for the product add-ons videos. And over here we can see this product that we also find in the live demo for our plugin with WooCommerce, product add-ons and extra options. What we will do today is add different options to this product to allow the users to customize their pizza. So, to begin, let's go over to our dashboard. From here, we want to find GIF and click on product add-ons. Over here, we can see all the previous blocks we have created but today I want to go ahead and create a new one. For that, I will click here on Add Block. And now I will enter the block name. I will call it Pizza. Perfect. Now I scroll down to start adding the options right here. I will click Add Options. And for the first one, I want to use this one here, Label or Image. First, I will enter the title and this information will actually appear in the product page. So I want to enter choose toppings. And now scroll down to start adding the first option. For that, I will go to label. And here I will begin with mushrooms. For this example, I will leave tooltip and description empty. But I do want to add an image. So I will enable here and over here I will be able to upload an image. So I click here and as you can see I already have inserted all of the images I want to use in the media library. But if you haven't yet, all you need to do is go over to upload files and from here you can either click here and select files or drag and drop your files right here. Now I will go back to media library. I will find my mushroom image and I click here, choose image. Perfect. Now for price, I do want to add an additional price for this option. So I click here and I will select the second option, increase the main product price. And in this next field, I will enter here a cost of two euros as a fixed amount. Finally, I will leave these two last options disabled. Now I will continue with the next toppings in the same way. So I go here and click add a new option. Now that we have added and saved all of our options, we can go ahead and have a look at the demo. But in order to do that, first we need to associate our block of options with the specific product we saw in the beginning. For that, we need to go over to Rules. And here, from this option, Show this block of options in, I'm going to change from All Products to Specific Products in Categories. Once I enable it, we will see these two new fields. And in the first one, Products to Include, I will go ahead and search for our pizza product. So here I enter pizza and here I have it, your pizza at home. Now the other options, I will leave them as they are. And now we can save here and we have to save one more time our block. And now we're ready to go have a look. And here we have it. This is the option we have just created, choose toppings and the eight different toppings we included. Now, I am not very happy with how it looks right now, but we can do a few things to make this much better. For example, I only want to have two rows with four options on each one, 
and I also want to remove this information about the extra price for each option. So to achieve this, let's go back to our block of options. From here, we will go inside our Choose Toppings options, and this time we will go over to Display Settings. I click here, and first I want to go here, Hide Options Prices. All we need to do is enable it to hide the information regarding the extra price for each option. Now let's continue here, Options Layout, and first over here in options per row, I'm going to change it from 5 to 4. Since we have 8 options in total, I want to have 4 options on each row. So 4 on top and 4 below. And also I want to enable this. Use a grid layout. I'm going to go ahead, enable it, and in options width, I want to leave it set to 100%. Now we can save. And we can go now back to the demo to see what happened. Now I'm going to refresh and over here we can see the difference. Now it is looking much better. However, there are still a few things that we can modify to make it even better. For example, I don't like that all of the options are set to the left. And also we can notice there are still some of the options that have different sizes. For example, this one is bigger and this one is a bit smaller. So once again, let's go back to our block of options. Here we will go back inside our option, but this time I want to go to this tab here, Style. First, I want to go here, Content Alignment. And as you can see, it was set to left, so all I need to do is select Center. I also want to enable this option, force image equal heights. I'm going to enable it and in this next field, image heights, I'm going to set it to 25. Now let's go ahead and save and now we can go back to see what happened. I will refresh one more time and here we have it. It definitely looks much better than before. We can see how all of the options have now the same sizes and also all the images and texts are now centered. Now I want to focus on something else. If we notice here, it says the first three toppings are free and you pay an extra of two euros from the fourth topping. However, if now I try to select one, we can see right here in total options that it is adding the charge of two euros and I have only selected one option. Again, if I try to select another one, we can see it goes up to 4. So we need to configure this part to offer the first three toppings as free. Because right now, for the moment, I feel it will be a little bit too much to charge this amount only for two extra toppings. So in order to configure this, let's go back to our block of options. Again, we will go inside our option here, but this time we want to go to Advanced Settings. I click here, and first I want to show you something. Remember that it is very important that over here in Selection Type, for this type of options, you have selected the Multiple option to allow the users to select more than one option at a time. Now, let's go back to what we wanted to configure and that will be right here. Set the first selected options as free. All we need to do is enable this and over here in this next field, how many options the user can select for free, all we need to do is enter the number of options we want to allow. In our case, we want to offer three options for free before we start charging for the toppings. Now let's save. Now let's go back. I'm going to refresh and let's try it out. I'm going to select three toppings, so mushroom, extra cheese and salami. And as you can see over here in total options, it remains in zero. Now, if I add a fourth topping, for example, onion, now you see it does add the charge of two euros, but only from the fourth option, 
which is exactly what we wanted to configure. Now guys, I'm going to continue adding options. The next one I want to include is an option to allow the customer to include a beverage to the order. So one more time, let's go to our block of options. And now we go over here to add our second option. So I click add options. And this time I want to select this one, checkbox. And now let's configure it. For the title, I will enter here, add a beverage. Now I will add the first option. So for label, I will enter first beer. And for these options, the only other field that I want to modify is the price. Everything else will remain the same. Here, I want to add an extra charge for this option. So I click here and I select increase the main product price. For the beer, I will enter a price of 4.5 euros as a fixed amount. Now I will add another option. So I click here, add a new option. I go over to label and this time I will enter Coca-Cola. Again, all I want to modify is the price. So I select increase the main product price and in cost, I will enter 3.5 again as a fixed amount. And I will also add one more option. So I click here, add a new option and I'll enter as label 7up. Again, I go over to price. We change this option to increase the main product price and we enter same as the Coca-Cola 3.5 as fixed amount. Now let's save and let's go now to the demo to have a look. Here we are and now I will refresh and over here we see the new option. Add a beverage and our three options with the prices included right here. Now let's go ahead and add our final option. This time what I want to include is an option to allow the customer to select the date they want the delivery of the pizza. So one more time we will go back to our block of options. We go over here and I will click again add options and this time I will select this one date. For the title I will enter delivery date and we go over here and for label I will enter select your delivery date. Now I don't want to include a tooltip nor a description. I also don't want to add any image, but I do want to go over here, year. In start year, I will enter 2021 and same for end year. This will be the range available for your users to select a delivery date. Now we move on to default date. Here, I want to select current day. So the default day that will appear for the users will be the day they enter to make their purchase. For this example, I don't need to modify any other options, so we can just go ahead and save. And now we'll go back to our product. Now I refresh. If I scroll down, over here we can find our delivery date. Users will be able to click here and select from this calendar the delivery date of their choice. We can also notice the default date that is selected is the current date, just like we configured from the plugin. Well, guys, this is how we have configured our pizza product, same as we have it in our live demo for GIF, WooCommerce, product add-ons and extra options. Now, let's say we start adding options that have extra charges. For example, here in toppings, besides the three ones that are for free, I add a fourth one. We will be able to see right here in total options the amount that we are going to be charged. In this case, two euros, and the product price changes from 12 to 14. Same will happen if I want to add a beverage, for example, Coca-Cola. Here, we will see how the total options changes and same for the order total. Now let's see what happens if I add to cart. Let's go ahead and view cart. Over here we will be able to see all of the details of our order. We have our pizza with the details of all the toppings including the extra price we're going to pay 
we have the beverage we selected and also we can see the delivery date. This is perfect to allow the users to double check one more time all of the details of their product before ordering their pizza. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.